It was right down the street here in Merle's Inlet where the gator found a nice spot in between two homes. The woman I spoke with said she didn't even know it was there until her neighbor rang her doorbell and she came outside to see for herself. My dog was driving us, driving me nuts and trying to bark at something at lunchtime. At the time, Andrea Ballard couldn't figure out why, but it wouldn't be too much longer before she found out. The guy down the street rang on my doorbell frantically, and I'm like, okay, that's not normal. I got into my uh, car, driving down the road to the pool, and uh, we just caught out of the corner of my eye. Something wasn't, something was there that didn't belong there. A massive alligator measuring in at 10 feet, 4 inches. He's huge. <laughs> he literally just sat until the snake chasers came out and um, started trying to get him wrangled. And he's like, whoa, wait a minute. And he's trying to flip around. They're trying to run him back to the backyard because it was a lot more space and away from the kids. Snake chaser Russell Cavender was there to try and get the gator under control. you got to be very hyper-focused, too. If you, if you make a mistake, it's, it, it could mean a limb or your life. He says the alligator was likely on his way to find a mate. They become very dominant. They want to mate with all the females that are in that pond. So any smaller alligators, they will chase them away. It literally kill them if they stay. His dating routine was interrupted. Cavender says the gator was released into the wild away from people. He says now is the time of year snakes, alligators, and other wildlife will be out and about. So if you run into any, it's best to call professionals. We never see nothing like that in New York. For more on what you can do, if you find anything like gators or snakes in your home or your yard, visit our website, WMBFnews.com. In Merle's Inlet, Marissa Tancino, WMBF News.